Praise God, praise God. All righty, everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed day wherever you are in the whole wide world. Praise God. Okay, so today is the seventh day of the 14-day full liquid fast. God says, go back to your first love. I'm going to walk this thing out. Hallelujah. This is very close to God. Oh, hallelujah. Let me tell y'all something. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all just don't know. Whew. Got to slow this thing down. I think about the goodness of God. You know, <laughs> you know, when you first got say how you were so much in love with God, that's the same thing to renew every day, every day. If not, you will find yourself in situations. Oh, come on, somebody. Let me start this off right. Let me read the scripture. He says in Revelation chapter two, verse four says, nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Thus said the Lord, many of us have left him. And I don't mind telling you, I'm going to show you a short testimony and I'm going to tell you some things, some key points right here. Um, when I was in California, <laughs> my anointing was heavier. I'm not trying to brag. and I was a different person. That's why I said it the other day. It's been about five or six years. I've been going through, I ain't gonna lie. I remember somebody put glue in my shampoo. I lost my hair. I mean, it was just back to back to back. When life hits you, and it will hit you, it'll make you get mad. Not necessarily at God, but sometimes God, let's be real. How many times have you gotten mad at God? be honest, because this didn't go through, or somebody died, and you feel like, oh, God took my mother, my father, my husband, my wife, or whatever the case may be, or my child, which is horrible, don't get it twisted, or you didn't get that job, or you didn't get that car, or you didn't get this, or you didn't get the person that you're like, or whatever the case may be, life will take you on a journey, Oh, come on, somebody, how do you, but it's a test. Come on, somebody, pass the test, God says. Pass the test, God says. But he said, remember thy first words. Remember thy first love. So let me continue my testimony. I remember when I would walk in churches, people would run up to me. I'm not lying. Who are you? Now, I still carry the presence. I'm still anointed. But I'm going to be real with you. When I was in California, it was a different anointing. Now, and I'm not trying to make it look good or sound good. I'm getting it back. I could feel it because I would witness every day. People wouldn't want to come to the store with me straight up because I'd be in the store and I'm going to tell you how God used to do me. God said, I want you to go, let's say, to Target. And I'm like, oh, I can go to Walmart right here. He'll send me all across town. And the next thing you know, I'm walking in the store and I'll see this woman. And God said, that's your assignment today. And I go straight up to it because I'm bold and I still do it if God would tell me, but he hasn't. I haven't done it lately. I can't lie to y'all. That's how I know Got to get back, got to get back, got to get back. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking about, it's not that we ever love, but we, we, we stop doing what we used to do. Hallelujah. And that's that's the beginning of people falling. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me work this thing out. So I will go up to them and they'll just start crying immediately because the word that God had put in my heart for them, they only knew it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know what I'm saying? So with this being said, take this opportunity, Not even if you're not on the fast, Get back close to God. Y'all don't see what they're doing. Y'all don't see how they're coming. Martial law, new world order. You can't do this without God. I couldn't even get up on him. I don't care how great you think you are. And I'm going to say some things that some of you are not going to like, but I have to. You know what has came in? And, and I just have to be real with you. Let me tell you my testimony a little bit more because so I can say something before I say this because people be thinking you hate me. I'm not bragging. You can ask anybody from where I'm from. I've always been intelligent. They thought I was going to be a doctor. I had there 14 years in the medical field. I, 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 it, I can go any way you want. You understand what I'm saying? I never forget when I first came to God. And honestly, and I know she has gone another way, but still, you can't discount what Prophetess Monita's bottom did in the, in the back in the day. You can't discount it. Nobody can. In 2013, when she, um, when she anointed me and told me what thus said the Lord, she said, you're going higher. I was the only one at that conference. And you, I told y'all a woman slapped me at that conference. That's how deep it was. I was tested as soon as I walked up in there. Come on, somebody. I'm going to walk this thing out. I was at the conference. And I'm going to tell the whole thing. I, I had never told it publicly, but I'm going to tell the whole thing. Um, before I went there, first of all, I lived in Atlanta in 2012. And I kept trying to go to her church. And God says, it's not time. And I'm like, God, I'm right here. I was in Smyrna. And, you know, she had a church in Atlanta at the time. 
well, in another part of Atlanta. So long story short, it was in 2013, God said, I want you to go because some things are going to happen. He said, I don't want you to make yourself known. You ain't got to try to act like, hey, look at me and everything. He said, she's going to walk up to you. And that's exactly what happened. We was all sitting down in a conference and she came up to me and she had a hand like this and I did my hand like this and I knew exactly she knew who I was, point blank in the story. And that happened throughout the conference with even the other speakers. You know, she, they were just drawn to me. And I guess this lady uh, was like three at a table, maybe by four at a table. So, so after, you know, how you have conference breaks or whatever. So one of the ladies, she was from Pennsylvania. I still remember her, trust me, I remember her. And so anyway, you know, I wasn't where I am. It was 2013, long story. I would never forget these days. So long story short, we were talking about hair, fake hair. And I said, God don't want us to attach something, especially, and, and don't get mad if you want. Do the research. I better you ask God. I used to wear fake hair, and I didn't even have to, all right? I used to wear them big, long wigs. I thought I was dying a Ross. You know, you couldn't tell about what dying a Ross. Well, I, I would transform when I put the hair on you know, whatever. So we were talking about that. And she got offended of me because I said, well, think about it. This is what God told me. I don't know what God to tell you. He said, Deanna, why do you have that dead thing on your head? Because notice the anointing is here. So he said, take the dead thing off. So I told her, I said, you're not supposed to really wear fake stuff. And she got offended. This woman now, um, I guess I the best, this is the best way I could do it. Right. The table's like this, right? I'm right here. She's I'm right, another girl right here another girl right there, and she's right here, right? This woman act like she caught the Holy Ghost and did like this. I'm trying to show you how she synchronized it and came all the way on my side. Now, at this point, we were standing up, right? Because Prophetess Bonham had us standing up. Y'all, I'm not lying. God have tested me and tested me, and I have passed the test. It has not been easy. This woman did like this, ha, ah, hallelujah, and she slapped me. I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. She slapped the taste out of my mouth. Prophet is buying them. Stop. Everybody in the whole conference just stop because I think people could tell my demeanor and she was an older woman. I took a deep breath and I heard God say, Deanna, 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 because I ain't going to lie. Y'all know I'm about to lay I can't lie to y'all. I, 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 my face was burning. I, I'm embarrassed about it looking and God talking to me, Deanna, Deanna, it'll ruin your testimony of where I took you from. I said, God, this woman just slapped me. I got tears in my, you know, I don't know if you ever have somebody slap you that hard. Come on, somebody. I'm, I'm, walk with me. Walk with me. I said, God, I'm serious, God. I'm, I'm talking. I'm, I'm battling. And pro Prophet just stopped. They like this on the mic. And I'm like, I took a deep breath again. I said, okay, God. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to strengthen you. But I'm, I'm, you know, she goes to do this again. Like she finna slap me again. I can't lie to you. I pushed her like that. I say, one time. <laughs> I don't know if I could do two. I'm just being real, y'all. I'm sorry. I said, I don't know if I could do two, God. She hit me again. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, you know, that's what happened, all right? So God will test you. And Prophetess Bonham, she called me back up there. She said, you know, people going to be whatever. And she anointed me twice. I was the only one she anointed twice. But something happened that day that was even greater. And um, I'm, I'll tell you that maybe next year. That's how deep it is, something greater. So I'm, I'm going somewhere. Just walk with me, walk with me, walk with me. So point blank, I was tested. Y'all can't tell me what that wasn't a test. I, I mean, and, and the enemy was trying to make me lose my testimony. I just said something. Some of y'all losing y'all testimony because the tests will be hard. I promise you to be hard. And you think she stopped there? Do you know that woman when we were ending? Prophet Bonham had gave us a, um, some apple cider with her picture on it. You know, that woman came up to me at the end of the conference. I want your bottle. And I ain't gonna lie. I had lost it. I said, woman, I will give you this bottle. I give it to you for real. I had lost it. They had to pull me back. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, okay, okay. Because she had just went too far. I'm going somewhere. I thank God I kept my composure. Yeah, I had ran off a little at the mouth at the end, but I kept my composure. Oh, I'm going somewhere. I'm, I'm going back and tie this all the way around. So let's. So I flew back to California, and I never forget. God said, "You passed the test." No, you didn't do it with flying colors, but you passed the test. He said, "Deanna, don't ever let people get you out your character." He said, "Cause the enemy, that's what he thrives on. He thrives on getting you out of your character." I'm going somewhere. He thrives on moving you away from me. He's tr he thrives on taking my place. There it is, your first love. What has moved you from God? Has it been a man? They fine. Woman, they fine. Money, 
Come on, some of my cars, a house. What has moved you away from God? I got to work all the time. You know, my schedule don't permit me to go to church or, or even worship. Or, or, or are you married to somebody that's an unbeliever? Where well, the Bible says that it's sanctified by the husband and the husband is sanctified by the, you know, we'll do it those scripture in that real cool. God said, come back to him. And let's go back to when I was in California. I talk differently. I walk differently. I know God allowed me to go through five years of, I told y'all, it was, it's been what didn't happen. And I'll be honest with you because y'all need that right now in this hour more than anything. I was mad at God. I'm going to tell the truth. I was. I was like, I'm supposed to be a pastor, right? And I'm yours, right? And, and, and I did everything you said to do. And you letting people hurt me like this and do this and do that. And I lost all my hair. That girl put Gorilla Glue. And I was in the shower and good thing God told me, he said, now nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I have to be honest with you. God told me not to use the shampoo, but it was a brand new body. I'm, I thought I was tripping. I should have been obedient. Now, you know anything, I'm obedient now. So when I was washing my hair, good thing I didn't do like this. Um, God told me to wash my hair like this, but I always wash my hair like this. Gorilla glue with the wind in my eyes. I'm saying something. So I lost all my hair to wear a wig. That's why y'all see some videos from the prophetic class in 2013, 14, 14 15, 16. I had wigs and I was like, all because I told you the truth, you're going to do that to me. But it was thing, it was back to back to back controversy. And I did, I didn't understand. Or, or I was, I had to go stay with this one. That's it, God, I'm a whole apostle. I said, people are going to be laughing at me. They're going to think I'm not even real. Why do you got me going through this? He said, Deanna, the son of man didn't have no place to lay his head. Well, I'm going somewhere. Walk with me, walk with me, walk with me. I had bitterness in my heart. And it grew and it grew. I was always still anointed. But I have to be honest with you, it hasn't been that uh, that heavy like it used to be. It's getting back. That's what y'all see. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I ain't letting nothing stop me. I ain't trying to be arrogant. That's not what we're doing here. But I realized that I allowed the test and the trials and my own getting mad at God to move me away from God. I mean, we'll still be in God. You know how we 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 read our Bible and you know we'll go to church and but you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about that intimacy that you used to have. What has pulled you away from your God? Because anybody or anything that pulled you away from your God is your God. I was angry, I was bitter, I couldn't understand because I know God did miracles, He did it for me. So you can't do it again. But then he told me, he said, Deanna, you ain't training. He said, I got to teach you how to have nothing. So then when I do bless you, you don't do like the rest of them doing. Come on, somebody. Y'all don't see what they doing? Don't I like y'all don't see what they doing? They doing everything for money. That's why they letting Kanye in that. Come on, man. Y'all know it's true. I, ain't, I don't hate nobody. I don't hate that young man. But I don't play games. If you're going to come, come God's way. Don't come like you run stuff. That's all I'm saying. They, 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 they so endowed with. And that's why people don't think that. Let me tell you something why people don't want to be saved. Because when they do come in the church, then y'all look at them all stink. That's not of God. And then y'all be let y'all be telling people, well, if they don't have the money or if they don't have a house or a car, then God's not blessing them. The devil is a lie. Let me tell you something. I remember being in a choir at Calvary Christian Center with bus shoes, and I was singing my butt off. Yes, I was. Hallelujah. Yeah, they was laughing, but I was still singing. Your worth. Your gift, your anointing is not equated to material stuff. Stop that lie in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth because I'm going to be honest with you and I don't mean no harm. You couldn't pay me to go to New Birth. Jamal tainted. That's why he can take on that position. I'm not going to go the rest of the way because I don't want to hurt the Long family. Y'all get what I'm saying? You couldn't pay me. I'm Unless he wanted a deliverance service. <laughs> Playing up in here. People dying. People dying. People dying. They got souls. Got time to play and act like we all that. Jesus never did that. Jesus called it like it was and he would still love you. And that's what we're called to do. What have gotten you from your first love? Because I'm going to tell you, pain can push you from your first love. I don't like what God allowed. I don't like what God did. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Running after money. You working so much that you don't even have time to get in your Bible. You don't have time to spend time with God. But you love God. Somebody lying. God said, come back to his first love. Come back to your first love. I've rededicated my life. I do it all the time. I don't have to go into church and do it. God, I repent. And I did. 
before I started this fast. I cried like a baby. I'm going to be very transparent because y'all need that. I said, God, I, I repent. I allowed bitterness, my, my own madness. I didn't like what you let me go through, allowed me to go through. And I kind of started getting back from you. Not that I didn't love you. I didn't like it. I didn't like what I went through. And then God said, but Deanna, that's a form of selfishness because like, I can't go through nothing. He said, look what I allowed my son to go through. Who are you? Hallelujah, God, talk to you like that. I cried. I said, I repent. I said, it never happened again. I said, I understand that you're God. You're God all by yourself. So whatever you do or don't do is fine with me, God. Just keep me. Let me humble. So always be humble. Don't ever let me think that I'm all that. Don't ever let me go against your oracles. Let me tell the truth, even in love or sternness, however you want me to deliver it. Let me see me first before I judge my brother and my sister. Or we ought to judge righteously. I'm supposed Let's talk. Would y'all be on here if I was fake? Don't lie now. Would you really be listening to me? Wait a minute. Outside of mocking and laughing and sharing the video. Look, look at this clown. Look at this fool. We judge every day, good and evil. Judge by the fruit we're supposed to. We're not supposed to hate nobody. We, 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 my motto is love them back to life, but I got to love you with the truth. Jesus never lied to nobody. But guess what? Jesus would never do what we're doing today. He would never masquerade as a church. He was the church. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, y'all are not going to like me today, but here. Yeah. Too much offense. Y'all get easily offended of truth. The Bible says, am I your enemy because I tell you the truth? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So let's get back to repenting. Repent. God, I repent. I'm going to spend more time with you. This is my Bible I've had since 2003. My spiritual mother gave it to me. Alicia, Felicia Johnson, Apostle Felicia Johnson. I read this book every day. I'm not trying to glorify myself. Y'all better read this book while you can. Because when martial law and that gun law drop, that's the first thing you come in after. I told you the vision I had. It's called the Great Burning. They're gonna call it the Great. They're gonna televise it too. They're gonna burn all the Bibles. They're gonna burn them all, cause they think if they can take the Bible, they take the word out of God. They take the word from you. But you, but if you put it here, they can't take it. I suggest you read it. I mean, you you gonna learn. You gonna yearn to feel the cover of a Bible. I'm telling you what God said. Come on, somebody. I ain't nobody playing and, and trying to make myself look like I'm all great. I'm telling you, was God was coming. Fall in that word. Fall in love with that word. That word will change you inside and out. You won't try to act like you're all that. You'll love people back to life. You'll extend the same grace and mercy to other people. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It'll get you closer to God. It'll give you wisdom. It'll give you discernment. It'll make you strong. It'll make you cry. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This stuff will. Woo, hallelujah. For the power of God up in here. So today is the seventh day. I can't lie to y'all. This liquid fast is nothing to play with. I ain't lying. I'm not lying. But I'm going I'm to ride that. I'm going to ride. I'm going to ride it until the wheels fall off. You know, um, we got seven more days. You know, just stay strong. Remember, you can have chicken broth, um, beef broth. You can even have soup. Just drain it. You know, tomato soup. Um, just drain it. You know, if you, if you have something with something in it. You know, stick with liquids. No chewing. <laughs> You know, and the devil crazy. I got to tell y'all this before I get off of here. So, I, I um, honestly, I drink some soup. And so the devil say, oh, you ain't going to chew? I said, fool, you crazy. Fool, you crazy. Get out of here in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. All right. All right, y'all. Um, God bless you. Just stay strong in the Lord. Stay strong in the Lord. Them people here, they ain't coming. They're here. And yes. They want to kill Jesus Christ all over again. They're not playing. And they, they, they can't stand his followers. So that's what y'all see happening. Don't hate nobody. Don't be on Facebook fussing and cussing. You know, yeah, tell the truth, but do it with love. Do everything with love, y'all. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, also, it, get ready for the 2020 Vision of God conference. <laughs> Them conferences are so powerful. I'm not just saying that. It ain't me. He said that. He said it's going to be miracles, some more miracles. And I believe him because, first of all, we can't do nothing but by God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. 
This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.